about syringe needle sizes and the procedures they use to do injections. If you are scared of needles, you probably won't want to watch this video, as you've already seen from the intro. <laughs> now in this first video, this gentleman will be showing you about how needle caps and syringe connectors are the same size even if it is a large syringe it is the same cap connector size This next video is of IV needle sizes. This has nothing to do with injection needle sizes, but I wanted to show you even for ones they put in your hands for administering like saline solution or a medicine. And notice how they are not huge at all. In this video, the diagram shows you that the tips for needles are the same size. So it is very difficult to be hiding a microchip inside of the syringe and have it be injected inside of you. I want to go over right quick about what you need to have a microchip that would be able to send signals to a device and or to storage data. What you need is a microchip with a processor, a data storage place, and a energy source with an antenna. All of those things together take up a lot of space. The microchips that are in my hands are just an antenna with a passive microchip inside of it that when an NFC reader gets close to it, it turns on and sends the data which is only bits of information at a couple centimeters distance only not feet away or through a device that you do not know that it is tracking your information now in this graph it is showing you that the larger size gauge needle has a smaller number so the smaller the number is the larger the needle is and these oily solutions come in a larger gauge needle if you look at the vitamins and or medicines they come in a smaller gauge needle only once again your vaccine will come in a very small small gauge needle that you cannot hide a microchip inside of. The next photo will show the needle sizes and how small they are of the gauges. And the diagram next will show you how the intramuscular injections are only given with a very small gauge needle size. Next, I'll be showing you a diagram of how they give injections into different parts of the body for different reasons. Now, if they were to implant a microchip in you, it would be only in the dermal layer and not into all the rest of the layers of the body, which is what they do for other types of injections. 
when you get a vaccine, it will be an intramuscular injection, which is the complete opposite way in which you would inject a microchip into somebody so that it would be close enough to the top of the skin so the microchip reader could take the information off of it to read. Next video I know is not for the squeamish, but here is an example of how they would be giving you this vaccine through this injection process. They will be injecting it in your arm, but I just wanted to watch the audience squirm. Alright, thank you very much all you lovely humans out there. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Goodbye!